Unraveling the Mystery, Evading Capture. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase, evading capture. This term can be quite fascinating in various contexts, and understanding it can enrich your English vocabulary and comprehension skills. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery behind this phrase. Evading means to avoid or escape from someone or something, especially by trickery or skill. Capture, on the other hand, refers to the act of taking someone or something into one's possession, especially by force. When we combine these two words, evading capture essentially means successfully avoiding being caught or taken into custody. This phrase is often used in contexts like police chases, military operations, or even in games and movies. Let's look at some examples to understand this phrase better. 1. In a crime movie, the skilled thief kept evading capture from the police, using clever disguises. 2. In a wildlife documentary, the gazelle skillfully evaded capture from the pursuing lion. 3. In historical narratives, the rebel leader evaded capture for years, moving secretly among the villages. These examples show how evading capture can be applied in various scenarios, highlighting the versatility of this phrase. Now, let's practice using evading capture in sentences. Despite the efforts of the authorities, the fugitive continued evading capture. In the game of tag, she was excellent at evading capture, always a step ahead of her friends. The spy novel described how the agent kept evading capture in enemy territory. Notice how the phrase can be used to describe situations involving pursuit and escape. And that's a wrap on evading capture. I hope this video has shed light on this interesting phrase and its usage in different contexts. Remember, learning English can be an adventure, and each new phrase you learn adds to your language journey. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in our next video. Happy learning!